Okay, in this tutorial we're going to be going over how to set up POP and IMAP uh, in Outlook 2016, Office 365, and 2019, and most likely future editions of Office as this seems to be the format that Microsoft seems to be going with now. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Uh, first thing we're going to do is go ahead and open our Outlook. And that's going to do a little bit of that searching accounts thing. All right, now we're going to go ahead and uh, type in our email address we're going to be setting up. And then we're going to go ahead and click on Connect. Uh, in this case, we're going to go ahead and select IMAP, but POP works exactly the same as IMAP does in this format. And we're going to go ahead and type in our password. and then click on connect. Now if your server has automatic discovery then this is probably all you'll have to do. However on this server it doesn't have automatic discovery of settings so we're going to click on change account settings and then it's going to guess at what the settings are which in this case it definitely guessed wrong so we're just going to delete those out of there and then we're just going to go ahead and paste in what our internet provider has provided us for our email servers in our case here we're going to be using SSL which is right here for the incoming server and then we have a port of 993 down here we have basically the same type of thing SSL TLS and uh, it, depending upon like what you're doing you may also need start TLS but for the purposes of the average account SSL TLS will do just fine uh, our ports going to be 465 for this server uh, however, it might be 587 for your server, so definitely make sure you're getting all these details from your email provider before you try to do this. So now that we got everything set up here correctly, we're going to go ahead and hit Next. We got our password already in here, so we're just going to hit Connect. And uh, now we're all good to go. So we have our uh, IMAP account up here, so we're just going to go ahead and hit Done. And then, boom, there's our inbox. And that'll uh, start loading uh, email as soon as it gets some email. Uh, and, of course, any folders that you might have on the server. And just remember, it does take a while for things to sync, so uh, do make sure you give it adequate time to uh, bring in all the emails and everything. But other than that, that's all there really is to setting up a POP or IMAP account in Outlook 2016, 2019, Office 365 edition, and like I said, probably any of the new editions. So I hope this helped you out. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comments. In the meantime, have a great day.